Now let's get something straight right away, and that is that Cubasis doesn't support model tracks natively, but there are a few workarounds that we'd like to share with you right after this. Hello and welcome back to the channel, everybody. I am your host, Vortex, from MobileMusicPro.com, your home for mobile music production. And if you are new to the channel, what we do here is release weekly videos, teaching people how to produce music on the iOS device. Now, currently, Cubasis does allow you to record in mono, but it doesn't allow you to convert your tracks to mono or export your projects to mono. Now, I'm sure this feature is coming in the near future, but for now, there are a few apps that we can deploy to at least listen back to our tracks or projects in mono and convert our already exported stereo projects to mono as well. Now, for those newer folks out there who aren't quite hip to all of these terms, all mono actually means is a single audio signal as opposed to dual audio signals consisting of a left and right channel. There's actually something called a stereo field or a stereo image, which is a 180 degree representation of space your ears can hear that tell your brain which direction a sound is coming from. And there are many reasons why you'd want to export your project in mono or have some of your tracks be mono within your overall stereo project. For example, most guitars are recorded in mono so that they can be panned properly so they can be combined well with the other instruments and effects in the track so that you can hear all the instruments properly. Another example is in places like clubs or bars or restaurants, they have a lot of different speakers facing a lot of different directions, so there's actually no clearly defined left or right listening positions. Plus, it can even be useful to play back your entire mix in mono just to detect any phasing type of issues or get a better overall picture of how your instruments are interacting with each other. So as you can hopefully understand now, mono can play a very important role in a music producer's workflow. So let's now hop into Cubasis and see how we can start using mono in our projects today. All right, so the first thing we're going to do is show you what the difference looks like between a stereo versus a mono clip inside of Cubasis 3 using sounds from our brand new Cyberpunk sample pack that just released and is currently on a 50% discount until October 3rd. And then we'll show you how to convert a track to mono inside of Cubasis. And then finally, we'll export our project and show you how to convert that audio file into mono as well. All right, now let's go ahead and get started. So the first thing we're going to do here is show you the difference between stereo versus mono inside of Cubasis. And to demonstrate that, we created a nice little 16 bar project here. And right away, you'll notice a pretty big difference between the stereo and the mono audio clip. The stereo is going to have two separate audio signals here, as you can see, one and two. And the mono is only going to have a single audio signal here. And it's also super easy to convert your mono track to stereo. All you have to do is simply tap on it and freeze the track. And as you can see, the mono clip with only one signal becomes a stereo clip with dual audio signals. Now there's no native way inside of Cubasis to easily convert this stereo clip to a mono clip. We do have to use a separate app for that, but we'll get to that in a bit. First, let's show you how to listen back to a stereo track in mono inside of Cubasis. So let's just solo this stereo track here, which is going to be a bass loop. You can see this is a bass loop eight from our new Cypher sample pack. Now Cubasis does come with a native tool to help you listen back to this track in mono, but it will not convert your stereo track to mono. Once again, it will only allow you to listen back to your track in mono. So let's show you how to do that. So inside of the in-app purchases inside of the Cubasis shop, you will find an added plugin bundle here down here called the Cubasis FX Pack 1. Now it's only a few dollars, but it definitely is worth it. So if we take a look here and go to tap to add effect inside of our insert effects, and then go to FX Pack 1, we will find our stereo with plugin. Now we already have one of those loaded up, so let's go ahead and take a look. By default, the plugin will look like this with 100% here, but to listen back to this track in mono, all we have to do is reduce this all the way down to zero while keeping the rest of the settings the same, including keeping the mode to swap and the delay down to zero. And just like that, this track now will be playing back in mono. But there is something to keep in mind. If you're placing this in your insert effects, any plugin that comes after it will be back in stereo, where any plugin that comes before it will still keep the track in mono. And that holds over for send effects as well. If you place a send effect on here, like for example, a reverb, well, this track is definitely no longer going to be in mono. Now keep in mind, you can also apply this stereo with plugin on your master track that will allow you to listen back to your entire project in mono. But we'll get to that in just a second. First, what I want to do is actually prove and demonstrate that this track is now being played back in mono. So to do that, we are going to use a tool called an oscillograph and place that on our master track. And what I want you to pay attention to is the oscillograph tool in the bottom right hand corner. What this tool does is represent the 180 degree stereo field that we mentioned in the intro. 
If there is a bunch of stereo information for the left and right, then you'll see that start to appear to the left and to the right, based on how wide the actual sound is. So now when we hit play, we should only be playing that bass track, which should be in mono. So let's enable our plugin here and hit play. All right, perfect. Now let's go ahead and remove that tool and show you what the difference is between a mono and a stereo on an oscillograph. You can see that there was a bunch more stereo information represented by those little dots there. Now let's give you an even clearer demonstration by panning the track left and right. And just for fun, we can demonstrate what a whole lot of stereo width looks like by simply going back to our inspector, going to insert effects. Let's apply the wider plugin on this. Now, once again, to achieve the mono effect, we did use the stereo tool inside of the FX pack that is an in-app purchase in Cubasis 3. But there are a bunch of other tools you can use as well, including this stereo with tool that we have pulled up right now. And one of the reasons why I like this tool so much is because you can make everything mono with one button. You may have noticed this small little text here that says mono. All you have to do is tap on that to enable mono. And now anything that comes through this plugin will be converted to mono. So we can demonstrate this real quick, going back to the beginning. And remember, we still have our wider tool on, so there's going to be a lot of stereo information, but we're going to cut that all down with one single button. So let's hit play. And like we said, you can apply this tool on a single track or on a master track as well, making it really easy to listen back to your stereo tracks in mono. And now I want to show you the quickest workflow to convert your stereo audio clips into mono clips and get those back into Cubasis. Now this workflow does involve a paid app called AudioShare, but later we're also going to show you how to do this with a free program called WavePad. It's a little bit longer of a workflow, but the tool is free. But before we do that, let's show you the AudioShare workflow. So the first thing we're going to do is mix down our stereo clip by soloing it then going to our media bay, going to mix down and tap in create mix down. And we'll just call this bass clip for now, bass clip and hit done. That'll just take a second here. And now we have our single audio clip here. So let's now share this to audio share. So we tap on it and then tap on share and finally tap on audio share. And that'll just take a second and that will paste right into the app here. And we can preview that by just hitting play. All right, now let's get this converted to mono by simply going to our tools in the top right hand corner, tapping on convert. And here under channels, we'll choose mono. We'll make sure the source is the mix so that it will combine the left and right. And we'll keep the bit depth at 16 and a sample rate of 44, which is basically CD quality there. All right, let's hit save. Once again, that just takes a second. And now we have our converted wave. Now we can bring this back into Cubasis simply by tapping on the share button. And we'll save this to our media bay by tapping on save files, going to on my iPad, let's go into Cubasis 3, and go into our audio folder and hit save. And now we'll just head back into Cubasis, go into our media bay here, scroll down, and there is our converted clip. So now we can just move this out of the way if we want and bring this bad boy in here to the top. And you'll notice, of course, that there is only one audio signal now, as this clip has been fully converted to mono. All right, and the final task we'll be doing in today's video is going to be to convert our entire project to mono. And to do that, we will be using a free third-party app called WavePad. But first, let's just give this little loop a listen, and then we'll mix it down.
Now let's get this thing mixed down. So to do that, we'll simply go to our media bay and go to mix down here and create a new mix down and tap start mix down. That'll just take a second or two. Now that's all done. Let's open up our free third party app called WavePad. So we'll minimize that. Go to our audio utilities folder and find WavePad here. Open that up. Now, right away, it comes up with this nice manual, but we don't need that because we know how to use it. So we'll tap get started. And of course, because this app is free, you will be seeing some ads here like this Amazon music ad. But what we're going to do now is open up that mix by going to the open and we're going to go open file. And we're going to navigate to our Cubasis Mixdown folder by going to on my iPad and going to Cubasis 3 and in our Mixdown folder here. We'll find the audio clip we just mixed down. Get that selected. Just takes a second and that will load it all up. And we can play that just to make sure. All right, sounds good. Now let's get this exported to mono. So to do that, we'll tap on our export button here in the home tab, tap on export just once. And we're going to do save as. And as you can see here, this will have all of those similar options that AudioShare had as well. And we're going to choose the same options, which is going to be Wave, 44, 16-bit. And of course, we're going to choose Mono here instead of Stereo. So we'll make sure that Mono is selected. And then we just tap on Next. Now it will ask us where we want to save this file. And we're going to save this to the same folder inside of our Cubasis Media Bay in the Audio folder and hit Done. Now that'll just take a second here. Let's not get ad copyrighted, shall we? We'll skip that video. Once the ad is done playing, it'll get back to the app here, finish exporting, and we're all set. Now we can just double check that that file is in mono by going back to our Cubasis directory. Just go back to our audio folder, create a new track here, new audio track. Let's go down to our files and drag in the clip that we turned into mono, just like that. And there we go. As you can see, that is a single audio signal in here. So that is, in fact, now a mono track. All right, and now it's time again for our final thoughts. And if you are still rocking with us, then we just can't thank you enough for being here, especially those folks that are here every single Wednesday and Friday to watch our live streams and our live premieres. Now, hopefully we did end up explaining the difference between stereo and mono relatively clear, because of course you can always ask us questions in the comments down below or join our Discord at mobilemusicarmy.com. Eventually, I really do hope that Cubasis does support mono natively so that we don't have to use all these third-party apps. But of course, that is half the fun of using new technology as hacking all these things together to see if they work. If you want a nice and ready-made streamlined process, well, Pro Tools and all the other desktop DAWs are right that way. And speaking of streamlined, definitely make sure to check out our brand new Cyberpunk sample pack that's super organized, coming with over 1.8 gigabyte of sounds, including things like arps, leads, basses, drums, pretty much everything that you need, and even some Cubasis 3 presets and a Cubasis 3 project. You can listen to what it sounds like right now at mobilemusicpro.com slash cypher, and you can grab it right now with a 50% discount until October 3rd. And finally, our recent sample pack contest has just ended on Wednesday, September 21st, and we just can't thank everybody enough for their awesome submissions. Seriously guys, I just can't stop listening to these tracks. They're all just so, so fire, and I can't wait for everybody to hear them during our live stream next Wednesday on September 28th. It is during that live stream where we'll be revealing the top four prize winners, as well as playing through all the contest entries. So again, make sure to check that out next Wednesday, September 28th at 10 a.m. Pacific, 1 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. And of course, we've always got new stuff coming out for you folks, including sample packs, giveaways, contests, and much more. So if you do want to keep up with everything that we're doing here at the channel, definitely make sure to sign up for our completely free newsletter at mobilemusicpro.com slash newsletter. And so until next time, everybody, keep talking music, and we'll see you later. Hey everybody, Vortex here, and if you're not aware yet, we now have over 100 fully edited mobile music tutorial videos. And we make music every single Wednesday live on our channel right inside of Cubasis on our iPad. Plus, we also have a bunch of free sample packs, guides, and more at our website at mobilemusicpro.com free. And so if you are into that sort of thing, producing music on your iPhone or iPad, then definitely make sure to subscribe and check out the rest of the videos on the channel that we know you'll love.